They tell us that if x is equal to this and y is this, decide whether the following expressions are rational, irrational, or no real. They mean non-real. So let me quickly give you a, um, a quick little summary of that. Rational, these are nice numbers like 3 over 4, that's still nice because even if you put that as a decimal, it's 0 0.75, um, negative 2, um, 1.4, square root of 4 because that is just 2. See, all of these are nice numbers. Uh, 1 comma 3, 6, minus 7.12. Everything's nice. There's nothing weird like long decimals, okay? Now, if it's irrational, then it's just messy, like 1, 3, 6, 1, 8, 9, 1, 1, 1, 4, 2, 3, and the decimals just go on and on and on. So decimals don't repeat. Okay, now non-real, or they said no real, that is when you are going to get a negative inside a square root okay so for example that if you go type it in the calculator it's going to give you a math error okay so that is what we are going to look at for this question so for the first one they said that we just multiply x and y together so x is square root 2 and y is negative 2 if you multiply those together you're just going to get minus 2 square root 2 now in decimal form that is pretty ugly. It's like negative 2.828, and then the numbers just don't, the decimals don't repeat. It's just random. So that's definitely going to be like this one. So we call that irrational. So this first one is going to be irrational. Okay. The next one, uh, let's have a look at this next one. So 1 over x, so 1 over square root 2. Nothing wrong with that. Go type it on the calculator. And let's see if it gives us something nice. Oh, no. Ugly, right? So it's also ugly. So we're going to say irrational. How do we spell irrational? Two R's. Yeah. Okay. Now, this one over here is x squared. So you're going to say square root 2, and then you're going to square that. If you do that on the calculator, it's just going to give you a 2. Now, that is a beautiful number. There's no weird decimals. And so this is called rational. And then square root of y. So the square root of negative 2 that is going to be no real, non-real, because that is a negative inside a square root. And so they meant to say non-real, but just to be safe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy whatever they say, so it's no real. I checked on the memo. On the memo, it says non-real. So maybe they just mistyped it over there. Um, should be the word non, and then a gap, and then real.